I started right from uh, the get-go, right out of the womb, just kicking balls. Carly Colpitz has played the beautiful game her entire life. Some highlights include attending a Canadian national team camp in Vancouver when she was 17 and receiving a full soccer scholarship at North Dakota State. Now, later in her career, she's found a way to preserve her love of the game. We decided after playing for pretty much all the club teams there that the women's league had to offer, we decided to create our own team. So last year, Michelle Clement and I uh, kind of just like got chatting with a bunch of our girlfriends and we pretty much hand selected this team, which was uh, a bit unfair of us, but we also just decided uh, we were kind of sick of dealing with everyone else's politics and we wanted to create our own. And that's where Rich Thomas came into the picture. Rich is a trainer and the founder of CrossFit Shinobi, a city gym that Carly attends regularly. The two struck up a rapport, with Carly quickly convincing Rich, who was once a soccer player himself, to get back into the game, this time as a coach. Robin. His fitness background has paid dividends. It's a huge asset, um, just having the, the avail availability of, um, you know, it's like having you know, a trainer um, on staff. So um, the girls come out to the facility, um, I help them with stuff on the field, um, help them questions anytime they have so we've really really been focusing on, on um, the physical aspect of the game and also able to help them with the mental aspect of training too. I don't know if there's yeah just do 21. All of which goes hand in hand with team chemistry something Carly considers the number one ingredient for success. A hundred percent yeah you can have a, a whole team of incredibly talented players and no chemistry and and have been on that team before. We've all played together at some point um, about 80% of us played for the University of Manitoba Bisons. Uh, we've traveled together, we've been through ups and downs together, and it's, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, these are like your main homegirls, and we, we would do anything for each other, and uh, yeah, I think, the, I think a chemistry on any team is the most important. In July, the Bisons FC senior women's team won the 2015 Provincial Championship. Now they're on their way to nationals. Yeah, you got to put on a little bit of a different cap and get your head in gear for uh, for national competition. It is tough because we are only playing against the same eight teams every year, whereas places like BC and Ontario are playing against 25 different teams to get to the nationals. And so uh, that's a bit of a tough challenge for us, but we're we're always up for it, and yeah, we're excited to go away and compete. And throughout it all, the philosophy communicated from the sidelines onto the pitch will remain the same. Full effort, full victory. The victory lies in the effort, um, not necessarily the outcome. So you put everything, as long as you put everything you can into the game, into the, the effort of playing the game and supporting your teammates, it's a win. We're first and foremost really, really close friends. We just hosted here in Winnipeg the Women's World Cup and we got to watch one of our closest friends and ex-teammates Desiree Scott compete with the Team Canada. And I mean, there's no more pride and joy that you can experience than watching an old teammate go and compete in, in the World Cup Championship and be successful. So the places that you can go with it and the relationships that you create, it's just the community that it, it that it is involved in the soccer world and the community that I feel a part of just here in my home city playing soccer has been my, yeah, the best experience for me. Give and go, play together, play together. Okay. Three, two, one, bye, bye, bye. 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 Bye.